Greetings, citizens of the internet. I'm Static Buzz, the friendly gaming nerd, and I'm playing some more Dragon Quest 11. And we're gonna go over what has happened so far, so you guys can catch up if you haven't been watching, or you can go back and watch the other ones. That's fine too. But we're, we'll get started with reading what's happened so far, with the newfound knowledge that he is the Luminary Reborn. Static heads northward from his home in Cobblestone and arrives in the storied city of Heliodor, only to be branded a harbinger of calamity and thrown into the castle's dungeon. Along with Eric, a mysterious young man from a nearby cell, he escapes and ends up in the sewers beneath the city. Despite the best effort of the castle guards and a deadly black dragon, the that was a black dragon? It looked more purple, but okay, we'll go black dragon. The pair escape the twisting tun tunnels only to find themselves trapped at the top of a cliff. They have little choice but to trust in luck and the power of the luminary and fling themselves fearfully over the edge. Somehow, they survive. The static awakens in a small church near the city. Which we already did. We should be outside the church. Maybe I saved in the church. I can't remember. We're gonna find out. See what we got. What we got. Yeah. So we saved in the church, and now we're gonna head out. We are supposed to do a quest for this person, where we use our pep skill, but. We'll do that as we can. And also, Eric wants to go back to Heliodor. So I guess that's where we need to go because he has an item that he hid somewhere or something that he wants us to gather. Uh, we'll sort it out. There are some weird critters. And no shinies on the way. Uh, I wonder if I should be grinding at all at this point, but eh, we'll make do. We will make do. This is going to lead to Heliodor? Okay, guess it zoomed us up top. Alright, we're going in this cave of wonder and now another loading screen? And they just load us all the way into the city if that's where this is taking us. Oh, there we go. Heliodor's slums, <laughs> I guess. We read a book about this that talked about all the thieves and everything that lived over here and how dangerous it was. Welcome to downtown Heliodor, home to rogues, ruffians, and all my other favorite kinds of people. And there you have it. He says it <laughs> for himself. About a year ago, me and Dirk, my partner in crime, managed to uh, acquire one of the royal family's most precious possessions, the Red Orb. Yeah, don't let me know how you acquired it. They got wise and pulled me in eventually, but not before we'd stashed it somewhere safe so we could pick it up later. Right down there is the biggest, stinkingest garbage pile in all of Heliodor. Me and Dirk buried the orb slap bang in the middle of it. Why would you bury it out in the middle of... That just seems like a bad spot. After all, no one would ever think of looking for it there. Where criminal genius is, I tell you. Time to go liberate that loot to the garbage pile. Yeah, that's what I want to do, dig through garbage. All right, where is this garbage pile? Are there any smashables? You know we need to be smashing. Is this the garbage pile? There's barrels over here. Let's go bust the barrels first. Horse manure? Horse manure? What? seeing a prompt I don't think this is it 
There. Something else. Oh, this. There we go. This is the garbage heap. The other one kind of looked like a garbage heap, but it wasn't. This is the spot. Keep a lookout, okay? I'm going to grab the loot. Now. It was around here somewhere. He's supposed to keep a lookout, but he never turns away from him. It's definitely here. I'm a thousand percent sure. Uh, it's not here. You gotta be kidding me. Me and Dirk were the only ones who knew where it was. Wait a minute. That rat! He must have done the dirty on me and taken it for himself. Oh, Dirk betrayed him. Damn it! I should have known! A thieving little... Wait till I get my hands on him. I'm gonna find him. And you're gonna help me. Okay. The inn we used to crash at is just over there. Come on. It's the only one with an upstairs. You can't miss it. And we're moving on down through downtown Heliodor. I mean, it doesn't really look all that dangerous, but... Yeah. Is that the end? I guess this is the end. <laughs> this old place hasn't changed a bit. Back in our thieving days, Dirk and me used to lay low here whenever things got hairy. Ruby? Ruby, you there? It's me, Eric. There's something I need to ask you. Okay. Ruby runs the place. Looks like she's not around, but if anyone knows where Dirk is, it's her. Which means we'll have to go find her. So here's the plan. There's a tower they use to look out for fires. You're going to climb up there and keep an eye out for Ruby. Okay, what am I looking for? I'll check a couple of other spots. Don't worry, you can't miss her. She's the only redhead in town. Oh, with a name like Ruby? How did I not think that she was a redhead? Alright, so we're looking for a redhead, but we're gonna look for some Smashables first. Smashies! Up we go! That one? That is not one, dang it. Nothing to loot. Come on, what kind of inn is this? Uh, it's an inn that's used to having thieves in it, so it knows not to leave things laying around. Ooh, circus? Yeah, I can't really read what that says. Wish I could switch to first person. Ah, well, let's go to the tower. There's no smashables here. What a letdown. Which way was the tower? There it is. Hey, it's a doggy. Ruff, ruff. That girl, or is that a girl? She's wearing, wearing pink and has long hair. She looks serious. can't walk through the clothes come on now all right where are my barrels and my boxes that I could smash all right he wanted me to go up here are you a drunkard or something what are you doing over here? this is the life okay there you go barrels I get to smash barrels oh, I think this is one of the f more fun things in this game well, I mean the game is fun all in general but just knowing that I can smash barrels and pots is something to look forward to. Alright, we're up top. Okay, there's a guard. Get out of here! Go on! I didn't mean to the lady. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> oh, he's a crooked guard. See how it is. Persuaded away from the gate. Good oh, good doggy, stay. He's got a huge spear. Why is he afraid of a dog? Oh, that must be Ruby. Red hair, red dress. Ruby. Okay. Let's stick with the plan. Go find Ruby. She's hopefully going back to the inn. I don't know. Oh, uh, I can't find Ruby anywhere. How about you? Any luck? Yeah, man. She just walked past. You saw her heading back to the inn. Great. Let's head over there and find out what she knows. All right, is that guard still here? He's still there. I'm getting the feeling that we're gonna talk to Ruby and for some reason we're gonna have to go past that guard. And we're gonna need to find a dog that, maybe use that dog to, to make it happen. Either that or a beautiful well, girl. Well, if it isn't my favorite landlady. Huh. Welcome to our humble. <gasps> Strike a light! If it ain't me favorite little tea leaf! Last I heard, they locked you up and thrown away the key! Tea leaf? Why should she call him tea leaf? Hang about. You've gone and escaped, ain't ya? You? you and your friend here are the fugitives everyone's talking about! Shh, keep it down, Ruby! Well, I know not to stick me big nose in where it ain't wanted. You always did like to sail close to the wind. Don't worry, I won't be here long. I just need to know where Dirk is. Have you seen him? Dirk, eh? Now there's a name I ain't heard in a while. Didn't he open some fancy shop up by the castle? Yeah, that was it. Raking in the cash he is, or so they say. Oh no, he sold whatever item it was and bought himself a fancy shop up by the castle. That can't be right. The rent up there is crazy. Where would he find the money? Think about it, Eric. Wait a second. He sold it, didn't he? The rat sold the damned orb. Oh, that's right. It's an orb. Look. In this part of town, you don't go asking too many questions, you know that. If you want more, you'll have to get it from the horse's mouth. From the horse's mouth? You're right. Thanks, Ruby. I appreciate it. We'll get out of your hair. <laughs> he does not look happy. Sorry, Eric. Your boy betrayed you and sold the orb. <sighs> that no good traitor! I'll bet he sold me out and sold the orb. And also, he could move up in the world. Well, I'll get what I'm owed. You'll see. Oh, you think he ratted you out, too, huh? <sighs> but we'll need to get past that sentry if we're gonna head uptown and find him. Wait, isn't he... Yeah. I remember hearing that one of the guards is terrified of dogs. I think it was him. Maybe we can borrow one of somebody. Wow, they had to remind me that he's terrified of dogs. Talk about a hand holding. I already knew that. I pay attention. All right, so let's go talk to this serious. Oh, there's a quest marker too. Yeah, this serious little girl. Look at her, man. She is super serious. Nice one, Bullseye. This. That great big coward of a guard nearly weed himself when he saw you. Whoa! 
what do you think you're staring at? Get lost! You want? You want to borrow me, dog? You having a giraffe? Ain't ya? Look, I ain't got time for this. Go on, sling your. Look, what's she? I don't. I don't know what she's saying. Bullseye here is a lone wolf like me. Hey, don't like take kindly to strangers. Ah, but you know what? Some old water and a buzzle barrier too might change his mind. What do you got gopping at me like that for? I ain't. It ain't like I'm asking much. Just go and shake the tree and grab some berries in it. Go out of town, down the walkway, finger straight on, big tree, funny berries on it, bosh. And as for holy water, well, that's easy. Buy it from a shop. Ah, remember, I didn't say holy water or buzzle berries. I want them both. Otherwise, no deal. All right, so we got to leave town. I don't think I've shaken any trees. Do I have any buzzle berries? Buzzle berries? Buzzle berries? I do not. All right, so we got to go shake a tree to get some buzzle berries. I wonder if they're going to have bees in them, if that's why they're called buzzle berries. We don't have to find a shop with some oily water. I don't know why they can't speak properly. Whatever. We'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, is this the way out? This is the way out. Alright, let's go find a tree and shake it. That sounds like something you'd tell somebody you want them to get lost. Go find yourself a tree and shake it. Alright, and another loading screen if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Alright, and they said... She said... I think it's a she, big old tree. I think it's right there. I want to see if there's anything over here. Yeah, you know, I've yet to figure out what these ghost things are. I wonder if you could do anything with them. I wonder if, like, later on you get a, a power or something that lets you catch them and you got to collect them. I don't know. That would be kind of... There's so many of them, that would be kind of a pain. Almost like the... What were they called? What were they called in uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild? Kurox? Something like that? Kurox? Korox? I can't remember. It's been a while since I played that game and that was not a fun part to collect it, trying to collect as many of those as you could possibly get. Items with a peak icon will alter appearances of people who wear them. Really? I didn't know that. I can change my appearance? So... So this one here changes the appearance. So if I put on... No, it did not change his appearance. Maybe because he's wearing that cloak. I don't know. Alright, let's see if we can find a store with some holy water. Holy water runs deep. Uh, that looks like a weapon shop. Probably not going to be there. Yeah, let's talk to the sick person. They have holy water. Welcome and all that. Cough, cough. Me, me stock may not be much to look at, but it's a, the quality that counts. Why are you coughing so much? If we don't get a quest to heal her, I will be surprised. Alright, we just need one. What is a Chimera wing now? We're gonna put that in the item bag. What's the user way to the last place they prayed or the last important location? Now, I'll have to remember that so if I get some money that I can and you get those and use them. Save me a lot of time of running around back and forth. Alright, hopefully she's still out there. She is. Here we go. Hey, little girl. Got your holy water. Whoa, do you think I was just going in over me dog to some stranger? 
Now, there's got to be some thing to in it for me. In it? That's how things work around here. So, me get some holy water and some buzzle barrier too, then we, we'll talk. Yes, we'll give him the buzzle berry. Her the buzzle berry. I think it's a girl. Let's see now. Yeah, that looks like what I asked for. Blimey, you actually brought it. Mug. Hey, Bullseye, it's your favorite buzzle berries. We'll share these, all right? Arf. Hey, good ain't they? Right, then sprinkle this holy water on you, shall we? There we go. Now the monsters are still steer clear when you go playing outside town. Nice. Is that what holy water's for? I'll have to go read the description now. Woof, woof. What? Don't look at me like that. Bullseye looks after me and I look after him. Anyways, a promise is a promise. He's yours for a bit. Look after him, all right? Bullseye, listen, boy. Go and play with the, uh, the nice man for a bit, okay? Arf, arf, woof, woof. All right, is he following me? He's following me. We got a dog. Is he going to make this guard run away? We didn't even try getting Halt. past him. We just went this straight to the dog. This gate leads to the nice part of town. My job is to protect respectable people from being bothered by rabble and riffraff. In other words, you. You. Hmm. Ah! No, no, not a, 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 a dog. Anything but that. Look at that face. He's awesome. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Worked like a charm. Now to head up to where all the rich folks live and find out what the heck Dirk thinks he's up to. All right, back to the main part of town, I guess. Hopefully we don't have to fight guards when we get there. We shall see. All right. Ah, I want. I should have. I wish I could have read that. It was talking about the weather and something affecting something. Oh, this is where we were smashing pots before. In the other part of town, there was a guard there. Remember, he wouldn't let us in because whatever reason. <laughs> and probably because they didn't want us going down that way that early in the game. So they put a guard there, but now he's gone. All right, where are we going? Gotta figure out where Derek is. Hey guard, don't look at me. I'm not the fugitive you're looking for. Alright, so we just run there? Is it gonna be that easy? Hold up, static. The guards aren't gonna let us pass, so we'll need to find another way to get Derek's to get to Derek's shop. Alright, so can we jump on roofs? Ooh. And we get to that rope and walk across. Is there anything on this side that does something similar? Does not look like it. All right, let's try that rope. That looks promising. The rope looks promising. Question is, how do I get there? It's kind of on this building. Hey guard, don't mind me. Oh, there's another rope. Typically how these work is you gotta go from one to the other. You can't just go straight there. So let's see what's on this side. He's got a pink exclamation point. He's looking up here. This would seem like where we're supposed to go. I could have talked to him, but nah. There we go. I was right. The rope is it. The rope is it. Played way too many RPGs for that to throw me off. All right. Did I get all the chests that were on top of? Oh, oh, that's just a shadow. Thought maybe that was another chest. But yeah, it looks like I got all the chests, at least that I can see. So let's just head to our destination. 
Or maybe not. Maybe we'll roam around to see if there's anything we can smash. Oh, chest. Ah. All right, let's go get that. I saw a chest. It's a shiny. Hey, nobles, don't mind me. I'm just running around your city. With a hood, I'm not looking suspicious at all. Not at all. See, there's none of those ghosts. What can I do with them? Don't know. I don't know. Alright, anything else? I bet we gotta go that way, but I don't really want to go that way yet. I want to look around. See if, oh, we got some barrels at least. If I can't jump over this side thing, though... Dang it, how do I get to that fountain? Of course, it doesn't look like there's anything outside of it. Alright, let's head back. Should we check the other side if we can get to the other side? Mm, looks like we can't. Mm, there are guards over there. Let's see if we can open this gate, though. Nope. And nope. Alright, can't do anything there. Another doggy, another gate. Old lady and a weird hairdo on the little girl. They don't mind me, guard. Alright, that looks like a shop. That does not. So let's go into this one and see if we can loot. Oh, hello. Don't mind strangers coming into your house, do you? Oh, good, you don't. Thank you. Of course. Oh, we got a book. We got a book. There's a book called The Lurid Allure of the Dingy Dungeons. Static takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. Far below the basements and storerooms of Heliodor Castle, deep within its very bowels lies the dungeons that houses the most heinous and hardened criminals in the kingdom. Many who have been locked away in those cold, dank cells have not lived to see the outside world again. Those whose crimes are deemed truly unforgivable are thrown into the deepest cells of all, from which it is said to be all but impossible to escape, a death sentence in all but name. Take care to stay out of the right side of the law, to stay on the right side of the law. Dear reader, lest you too be locked up and the key thrown away forever. Forever. And there's no loot in this house. Act all rich and stuff. You got no loot, but that looks like some good grub. Are those sandwiches? Those are sandwiches. And we got a nice basket of fruit. Alright, they're not so bad. They didn't offer me any. What kind of hospitality is that? Alright. This looks like a shop. Here we go. Oh, yeah, we got a cutscene. This is it. There's dirt. I bet you that's dirt. Well, nice place you got here. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to browse. You'll find we only stock the very finest wares. <gasps> That's good, because I'm looking for something very special indeed. Happen to have any orbs in stock? I bet you he does it. I bet you he sold it and bought the shop. Uh, Eric. Long time no see, old pal. <laughs> oh, he looks like he's ready to punch him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he missed. Eric. My brother, my, my compadre, my, my partner in crime, it's, oh, it's really oh, you, large as life and oh, fighting fit. I'm so oh, happy to see you. You have no shame, huh? Get your backstabbing hands off of me. You always were full of it, Dirk. But this really takes the cake. Admit it. 
You sold me out and sold the orb so you could buy this place, didn't you? I never! I promise you, I never sold you out. I was worried sick about you. I only opened this place to try and help you. Oh, yeah. And how does that work, exactly? How does you opening this place and lining your pockets while I rot in jail help me? Look, I was never much of a thief. You know that. But it turns out I know how to sell stuff. I got the gift, even if I do say so myself. <sighs> When you got nabbed, I spent months racking my brains for ways of busting you out. I couldn't stand the thought of you being in there. In the end, I realized I'd have to give up the orb. I took it to the king, told him I found it somewhere, and pocketed the reward. Then I used the cash to open up the shop here, and poured all my profits into bribing the guards up at the castle so they'd let you escape. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I did think it was weird they never tossed my cell the whole time I was digging that hole. Exactly! I was paying them to turn a blind eye, weren't I? <laughs> <sighs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you, partner. That's the spirit! Eric, old pal, it's so good to have you back. But I need that orb. And now we don't even know where it is. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, he's taking us outside. Ooh, this does look like a pretty nice shop. I will not deny that it looks... I mean, it's got a lot of jewelry and stuff. But if we get a discount? We get a thieving pal discount. So? Where is it? After I handed over the orb, I made sure to keep my ears to the ground about where it ended up. I knew it was important to you, see? Well... A little bird tells me that Endrick and his men took it to the King's Barrow, and it's been under lock and key there ever since. The King's Barrow, huh? Mm hmm and That's southeast of town. Same direction as Cobblestone. Which means we can kill two birds with one stone. You coming, Dirk? A little adventure for old time's sake? Ooh, do we get another party member? Sorry, oh. no can do. I've got a shop to run and I'm a married man these days. Oh man, you tied the knot. Really? Where's your you ain't got no ring? Where's your wife? Married? Wow, you really have changed. Well, you always said you wanted to settle down and maybe go into business someday. I'm happy for you. We'd better get going. Take care, Dirk, and thanks for everything. You too, old pal. Be lucky, eh? And don't you two go doing anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> the protagonist is silent. The south is gate is crawling silent. with guards. We won't be walking out that way. And Hendrick's men are too uptight to take bribes. Guess we'll have to go the long way round. If we skirt round the hills to the south, we should be able to approach the King's Barrow from the other side. We can drop into cobblestone on the way. Okay. Watch yourselves out there, eh? They don't call that forest round there the Mangle Grove for nothing. There's plenty going there and never come out. Ooh, fun. <laughs> It'll take more than a few kid stories to scare us off. Besides, it's the only way to get there. All right, I guess we're out of Dodge or Heliodor or whatever. Uh, do I have to go all the way back the way I came? 
Actually, it was over here, wasn't it? So, shouldn't be too bad. Should not be too horrible. I like w looking at all the little details that games like this have. Oops! Uh. Wait, is there a way to go up? You remember that one way in that we saw? I wonder. Hold on a second. We could go back that way, and that's probably the way we will have to go. But I want to see if we go back up. No, there wasn't any way around, was there? Well, let's check over here. Let's just make sure. There's barrels! Barrels, though. We found some barrels. Smashing barrels. Smashing barrels. All right, does not look like there's another way. All right, down the hole we go. It's worth a shot. I think maybe we could go up and meet, go come out the end by the tower. It looked like there was a way over there. Up there. Looked like that's another way into that part of town, but... I don't know, let's go take a look up there. Let's see what we can find. What can we find? And this is a long <laughs> ladder. All right. Oh, it does lead somewhere. Where does it lead? Oh no! What are we finding? We got another bear uh, pot to smash at least. Smashing pots. Small scale. Oh wow! Look at look at all this. Hope this leads to something good. Probably not, but we're gonna follow it to the end anyways, see where it goes. What is over there? Wow. It's taking us on a long side trip. Ooh. Can we get under that? Is there a crouch command? There is. We're crawling! Oh, it just takes you to the other side. Alright. All right, I can deal with that. Another bear, a pot. Smashing! Doesn't matter what it is, we're smashing. And we got a chest. What is... We found a pair of boxer shorts. What? What in the world are boxer shorts? They're actually better for him? Are you kidding me? Alright, he's wearing boxer shorts. Eric is now wearing boxer shorts. Alright, fall down. Uh, uh. Hey, I guess not so bad. Took us where we needed to go. Close, close to where we need to go. Hey, uh, don't mind me over here busting up your pots. Taking your gold. One of these days they're gonna make a game where you go around and you smash pots and barrels and stuff just like I'm doing here. And then eventually you do it and somebody gets all bent out of shape and chases you for the remainder of the game. And you have to run for them from every time they find you. Or fight them, which they're really powerful. That's how I'd do it anyways. Any sign of them? No, nothing. Let's search the town again. <sighs> Still searching that town. Look at all those lights. They're pretty keen to find us, huh? We'd better steer clear of Heliodor until the heat dies down. I guess we can't all go right. back. Through the Mangle Grove and onto Cobblestone. Let's do this. Eventually, I hope we can come back and slay that dragon. That'd be nice. It's two buddies out on the road. All right, so this is what I'm going to do here. Let's see. What level am I? Doesn't say their attributes. There we go. Level five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go save at the church. I'm going to fight some critters around here, probably get to level 6, maybe 7, depending on 
how I feel about it. Try to get a pep attack to work so that I can turn in that quest, but I'll wait to turn in the quest so you guys can see what you get for that. And then at that point, once I've done that, we will move on and head towards Mangle Grove. I just don't want to be under level when I get there. And I have a feeling that we're going to need all the levels we can get. It's going to get a little rougher moving forward. It could be wrong. It could be nice and easy progression through. But that's usually not how these games go. They usually like once you get to the new area, if you haven't leveled up, it's like a spike. And you need to either go back or struggle through and get a couple levels. So we're going to go ahead and just grind, get those levels before we move through. So anyways, that's what I'm going to do when we come back. We will move on to Mangle Grove, I think is what it was called, and try to get the orb while we're heading back to Cobblestone. I'm really interested to see what happened to Gemma, my girl. Gemma! Alright, so anyways, until next video, take care. Bye-bye now. Static Buzz, out. I'm wondering if I should switch to being more of a tank. Should check out skills. Character builder. There's, there's luminary and sword master and swords. But I don't see anything that requires. A shield. Doesn't matter. Ah oh, well, I'll sort it out.